This month we honor black history. It is a time we often look back on stories of black excellence and how they shaped our world. But if you take a look around, black history is now. Four black women currently hold chief equity officer roles in key offices that are the pulse of Atlanta. I talked to them inside State Farm Arena with the perfect backdrop, this newly unveiled MLK wall. While we recognize our history, these four women are part of pushing the movement forward. There's a new kind of CEO in town. Matter of fact, there are four of them. Chief, Chief Equity, Equity Officer. Officer. Four black women filling a space that's never been occupied in four of Atlanta's most significant offices. They are all the first Chief Equity Officers, starting with the Mayor's Office, Atlanta Public Schools, the Atlanta Beltline, and Invest Atlanta. It's dynamic. I don't know of any city in the country, really, that has what we have going on this quad. This sister circle formed after Kadira Abdurrahim was the first to officially put the chief equity officer role on the books with the city of Atlanta. She realized she wasn't alone. This is certainly a moment. I talked about the social storm that's been created. I think that we can create an equity storm to trump that storm and really pave a blueprint for a new civil rights agenda for this city and for this world. And to receive Kadira's email, it just made me say, okay, we're like, we're all in this together and somebody wants to tell this important story for the next generation. I think it's hugely important. Following the explosion of the social justice movement surrounding the murders of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and Ahmaud Arbery, the push to fill diversity, equity, and inclusion roles skyrocketed in 2020. According to the professional networking site LinkedIn, diversity roles are up 71% over the last five years. I often worry that our roles will be reduced once the moment is gone. And what I want to say today is that it cannot. Dr. Tawhida Baker-Jones's role also includes the title of social justice officer with Atlanta Public Schools. Data shows within APS it would take 128 years to close the gap between black and white students. And helping folks recognize that this work isn't about baiting, shaming, or guilting. We did not create these barriers. We did not create these systems. We inherited them. Getting that message across has been one of the greatest challenges for this group of women. To have a group of sisters that said, no, stick in there. You know, I, I want to encourage you and inspire you to stay motivated. The work that you're doing is having movement. As our society works to better understand the need for diversity, equity, and inclusion roles and how they benefit our society as a whole, these four women with one vision say it's really simple and all comes down to this. The only thing that I encourage you to do is make decisions based on people's humanity and dignity. And if we can start there, that will take us a long way.